that are probably indicators of virility, of, you know, this their well fed, they're, they're, they are guarding a territory that has all the food they need for raising another batch. Here's another bird on a stick. Yeah. Your basic house sparrow. As a matter of display, you know, in some birds, some, some, some feathers are actually designed to wear and tear differentially from the rest. And in the case of house sparrows, when a house sparrow, like right now, if you go out look at house sparrows, you'll discover that most of them all look like females. They've lost this black patch, or it's really reduced. And that's because the black underlying feathers all have broad white tips. But those tips are programmed to wear rapidly so that by the time you get to February, March, this black patch begins appearing at about the time that the birds are ready to start displaying and courting and stuff like that. And in the case of golden eagles, when it's like if you see a golden eagle in the field soaring off at a distance, you have this diagonal bar, this pale mottled bar that occurs from the wrist back here to the ul to the, the ulna radius area back here. And when the feathers that come in new in this area right here are dark like the surrounding feathers, but in a very short period of time, they bleach to, to maintain this pale bar that occurs on the wing. And in the, in the world of birds of prey, there's there are many, many instances of feathers that are that are programmed into their development to actually wear differentially to the other surrounding feathers. It's like you won't see the same kind of wear and tear, the same kind of bleaching anywhere else on a golden eagle's wing. Just that band right here. It's right in there, and it's uh, it's all part of sort of just probably mate recognition. It's a probably important for, for the mates to recognize each other. It's like. No two eagles are exactly the same, and the extent of this, this pale bar right here, there's a, there's a golden eagle nest that I watch up in my area where the female has the most booming bar here I have ever seen. It's almost pure white, and especially back here towards the elbow, just it's almost white. And when I look at her in the fall, that's this, this, this area is muted. It's darker than little, and it's darker than usual, but usually by midwinter, it's pale again. It's just really pale out. 